Aloha, my name is Sunny Savage of Savage Kitchen and I'm actually over on the island of Oahu, uh, the North Shore uh, today and I wanted to touch base on a plant in honor of Hawaii's invasive species awareness week um, called Haulikoa, Ikena leucocephala and uh, this plant is in the top 100 most invasive species on the planet and species actually covers everything from mosquitoes and rats to uh, plants and animals everything this is in the top 100 most invasive on the planet i'm sure you probably can recognize uh, this plant you've probably seen it around if you live in Hawaii. Um, this uh, is a good example um, to show what to kind of keep your eyes out for when you're harvesting. We harvest the brown pods and the green pods. And these brown pods here actually have some weevil damage. Um, that's a little insect that gets in there. And uh, you know, there might be some other seeds that are okay. Uh, in this pod, but it does have a lot of tiny little holes, which indicates weevils that have hatched out and crawled out. Um, you're also going to keep your eyes out for mold. You don't want to be eating any moldy seeds. So if you don't see it on the outside, you'll also want to uh, just keep your eyes out when you're harvesting these seeds. Now, uh, again, the, the brown seeds are edible and when I take these I just use my hand and uh, open up the pod and then I sift through them, clean them all out and then I'll soak them like I would a bean, like say I'm soaking my black beans overnight and I soak my Halikoa seeds overnight and they swell um, and plump back up and then I'll boil them for like 10 minutes and then use them in sautés. Um, I really love doing fermented things with them as well. Uh, at my food truck, Savage Kitchen, we serve halikoa miso and halikoa tempeh. So there's a lot of really great creative things that you can do with this. Um, the green seeds, a nice little foraging tip is to, since they're a little bit harder to open up, you just take a pair of scissors and snip off the end and then it's more easy to pull the pot apart and get those green seeds. Now those I like to just kind of pan roast and uh, they can be delicious uh, added to salsas or ground up into different seasoning spice blends. Um, you can notice the bipinnate leaf structure. So see at the end of the leaf how two leaflets kind of come out opposite each other. There isn't one leaflet that kind of comes out at the end. We've got two that come out. So that's something to kind of um, notice about the plant. It gets to be a shrub or small tree and they really only grow up to about 1500 to 2000 feet in elevation. The plant originates from uh, Mexico and northern Central America and if you've ever been to Oaxaca you may have noticed these uh, and actually Oaxaca is named. It, the, the name Oaxaca means the place where Guaje, where the, um, the Haulikoa, the Lucana grows. So uh, this does have a toxin that cooks out so it does need to have some kind of heat treatment and then you should be good to go. And it's a delicious and incredibly abundant wild food. So enjoy, uh, aloha. Hope you're all doing well out there. Enjoy your weekends. Thanks so much, bye-bye.